Hello everyone, welcome to episode 1 of the Beyond LS series, which is uh, basically a series of videos, short, quick videos, where I'm going to be exploring and demonstrating a, uh, some useful and powerful command line tools, as well as tips and tricks that you can use to harness the power of the command line. So for this first episode, I decided to look over a really cool command line tool called Askinema. It's a, a command line tool that allows you to record your terminal sessions, which is really, really cool. I'll we'll jump straight to the get started guide. Um, so before we, we move on, we have to install. There are quite a few options for you to install here. I will uh, uh, pick the homebrew because I'm on a Mac OS. So I will run brew install as Kinema. I've already did this. Um, and you can see that uh, if I run brew list, uh, as Kinema is already installed on my system through brew. Uh, I can also run widths to show me where exactly this, uh, this command is found on my system. So it's part of the homebrew installation. And what you do is whenever you want to record your terminal, once you have, of course, Askinema uh, installed, you just run Askinema rec, short for record, and then you supply a, a name uh, along with a .cast ex uh, extension. So in my case, I want to uh, record a small terminal session where I'm going to be um, let's say demonstrating the basic um, file system commands. So I will say simple fs.cast and once I, I press enter as Kinema I will start recording everything that I, I write and I do on the terminal. So I will run a command and then I will just uh, show a bunch of commands. So make the error to create a new uh, directory cd to go into the directory then that's to create a file then echo and add some contents to that file use cat to see the contents of the file remove the file go to the parent directory and remove the uh, temp directory once i want to complete the session, the recording of the session, I press Control D and now uh, Ask Kinema stops um, recording. And you will see that I have like a file called simplefs.cast. This is the one that I used when I uh, run Ask Kinema Rec. And this contains the session that I just uh, went through um, and I can replay it by just running Ask Kinema play as you can see here on the on the documentation page and then supplying the file name now once i press enter you will see all the commands um as i actually type them um and uh, it's, it's just like a recording so not um none of these commands will actually happen they will not be uh, uh like uh, creating files or removing files it's just going to be a recording so let me play this back So everything I did, even the mistakes and the time it took me to write these commands is actually replayed um, exactly as I uh, I was typing and running all these commands. And let's follow this recording to the end just to see. And then lastly, remove the file and remove the directory so as you can see everything that they did is recorded and it's now find uh, found in, in a, a really small file called simple cast so this is just eight kilobytes and actually this is a file that i can uh, open up uh, with any text editor and you will see it's kind of like it has its, its own format so basically every every single character i typed uh, along with the time stamp is uh, recorded in this in this file. Um, this is really cool because now I can um, embed it in a, in a website. So if I want to share, there are quite a lot a lot of ways. One of the things that I can do is I can run the command as kinema and then uh, upload, 
and then the name of the cast file and this will upload this uh, small file into the Askinema server I will get this URL I will open it up in the browser uh, right here not and I can see my recording right here uh, in the Ask Kinema website. I can also uh, embed it on my own website, so I can go to share. And I can, there are multiple ways that you can uh, embed it as an image link. But I can also copy this player and then go into a website that I have access. I can uh, copy this. I'm just using code sandbox and you can see you can see now this is a simple web page just copy and paste the script uh, and this is a website or web page an HTML page that includes the Ask Kinema player along with my recording so now I can share my uh, command line uh, steps and guides uh, with the rest of the world so this is really cool um, and one last thing that I will show you, which is, I think, uh, really nice. Uh, you can also um, uh, download the file and embed it in various other ways through JavaScript. Uh, so you can have total control over how uh, this is, is uh, replayed or how it is embedded in your, in your uh, HTML pages. Um, there's one last really cool features, uh, feature which is that you can take these uh, cast files that are created by Askinema and use another tool called AGG to convert them into animated GIFs. So uh, the AGG, uh, let me open this up, is another tool by, by the, the team behind Askinema. Um, they have this GitHub repository. AGG is short for Ask Kinema GIF or GIF generator. So for this one, um, in order to install this one, you must have a Rust compiler installed on your system, along with a package manager that comes with the Rust compiler, the Cargo. Um, and I have this installed on my, my system, so you can just copy this command and then you can run it. I already run this command and installed this AGG uh, tool. So now I can run ADD version to see that it's installed and I can run ADD and then the, pick the file and let me go back here uh, and then just supply the, uh, the output uh, uh, file name uh, with the .gif extension. So this convert, will convert this text uh, file into a GIF. So now you can see this is a really nice uh, small short size uh, GIF that you can embed it as an image uh, or share it with anyone. So this is really cool. Um, and uh, yeah, this is um, all about Askinema. There are um, various other other tools that you can find. You can also convert your ASCII cast files into animated SVG files. So there are plenty of options. And some cool things that you can do with it, you can record your sessions, for example, uh, if you're about to give a live presentation, when things can go wrong, you know, maybe the internet is off or maybe something happens, just to be sure you can uh, you can uh, record your uh, kind of like your, your command line session. Um, in case there's a problem, you can just show the animated GIF or even the uh, the cast. You can replay the cast and, and uh, showcase or demonstrate some kind of like... Um, uh, tool that you're about to demonstrate. Another cool thing that I find a lot, uh, for example, in this GitHub repository, this is a tool called DevClean, and they have this nice animated GIF created with Ask Kinema that shows how you can use this tool. So this is a nice small animated GIF. I can open it up. You can see it's, uh, it's a demo that was recorded that showcases this um, DevClean tool. Uh, so how you can uh, install it and configure it and run it, which is really cool. Um, so this is for today's, for the first episode. Uh, if you like this and you want to uh, see more episodes about the upcoming uh, uh, series and uh, I have plenty of tools, com cool command line tools that I'm about to uh, uh, show. Uh, so please like, subscribe and share and hopefully see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.